Welcome to my channel. I'm Scott and if you want to catch my newest video I post one every day at 8 a.m. In this video I'm going to walk you through the process of valuing Facebook stock by analyzing their financial statements and dissecting their financial ratios so we can determine if it's a buy or a sell. Facebook is a popular social networking service. It was founded by Mark Zuckerberg along with other Harvard students. Originally it was called The Facebook. It is one of the world's most valuable companies. Facebook offers products and services beyond its social networking platform, including Facebook Messenger, Facebook Watch, and Facebook Portal. It also acquired Instagram, WhatsApp, Oculus VR, and many other companies. Let's get started with the model. This is a large cap company, 787 billion market cap. They're trading at 276 a share, and they have 2.8 billion shares outstanding. Let's look at the financials. The way you value a company is you estimate the free cash flows and then you discount that number back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. So their free cash flow looks pretty good. It grows from 17.5 billion to 23 billion. Net income is the profit and loss on the income statement. It's revenue minus expenses. And that also grows from 15 billion to 21 billion. Revenue is a sales for the company, and their revenue grows every single year from 40 billion up to 73 billion. They also have amazing net profit margins. Net profit margin is net income over revenue. It's how well you convert revenue into profit. And they convert 26% up to 40% of their revenue into profit every single year. This is the company's income statement. The top line is the revenue. Below that is cost of revenue. Then the difference between those two numbers is their gross profit. And that was the highest in the trailing 12 months. And gross profit is growing every single year. Below that is their operating expenses. Then operating income. And that's also improving every single year. So their numbers look really good. And the bottom line of the income statement is the net income. It was highest in 2018 because they had a low tax amount that year, but it's fairly consistent year to year. This is the statement of cash flows. The top line is operating cash flow. That's how much money the company generates from its operational business, and that grows every single year. Capital expenditures are investments in property, plant, and equipment. And the way you calculate free cash flow, it's operating cash flow minus CapEx, and that was $23 billion in trailing 12 months. That's the highest free cash flow amount in the past four years. They did not issue any debt the past four years. They did repay back some debt, half a billion in 2019 and half a billion in trailing 12 months. And they didn't issue any stock the past four years. They did buy back stock, 2 billion, 13 billion, 4 billion, and 4.8 billion. So the company doesn't pay a dividend. So another way to reward investors is to buy back stock. Since this company has so much free cash flow, it does have the means to buy back stock or pay down debt, which it doesn't really need to because it doesn't have much debt, or invest back into their business to grow it. The most important part of every business is how much money they can generate from their operational business. And this company does a great job, $38 billion in a trailing 12 months, and it grows every single year. And the way you calculate operating cash flow, it's net income, which was $21 billion, then you have to add back the non-cash expenses on the income statement. Six billion of depreciation, 257 million of deferred taxes, and 5.2 billion of stock-based compensation. You also have to adjust for changes in working capital. That was 5.6 billion. So the company generated 38 billion dollars of cash through its everyday operational business. So their financials look amazing. Let's look at a capital structure. They have 101 billion dollars of equity, 10 billion dollars of debt but they have negative $44 billion of net debt. Net debt is total debt minus cash. So they can pay down all their debt and still have $44 billion of cash left over. So essentially they have no debt. And their WAC is 10.37%, which is a blend of the cost of equity and cost of debt. And that's the discount rate we're gonna to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimate a terminal value, which is all cash flows past year for, that's 1.2 trillion. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. We get a value of the company of $931 billion. We divide that by 2.8 billion shares. And we get a calculated stock price of 327. They're trading at 276, so they're trading at a 15% discount. It's a buy according to the model. Simply Wall Street is even higher than me. They're at 381 a share, so they're saying the stock is 28% undervalued. 
The stock was doing really well for four years going up in price. Then it took a big dip at coronavirus and it would have been a great time to buy the stock. But the price has been driven way back up. It's almost at its all time high. If you invested $10,000 into this company when it IPO'd in 2012, you'd have $72,000 today. So the company's beta is 1.19, so the stock moves a little more than a market. In the past 52 weeks, the stock has outperformed the S&P 500. It went up 34% to S&P 15%. And the 52-week low was 137, the high was 304. And it's currently trading above its 200-day moving average, but slightly below its 50-day moving average. So the stock is in an uptrend. And when the 50-day moving average moves above the 200-day moving average, that's the golden cross. That's a bullish signal. Let's look at the financial ratios. The average P.E. is 12.5. The median in the market is 14.8. P.E. is stock price over earnings per share. They're at 37.6. So investors are paying $37.60 for $1 of earnings. Price to sales is stock price over sales per share. They're at 10.7. So they're above the median and average. Price to book is stock price over book value per share. They're at 7.8. Also above the median and average. And the way you calculate book value per share, that's equity over shares outstanding. Equity is assets minus liabilities on the balance sheet. And their equity is $101 billion. Their tangible equity is $81 billion. So they have about $20 billion of intangible assets on their balance sheet. ROE is net income over equity. They're at 21%, much better than the median and average. Current ratio is current assets over current liabilities. They're at 44 so they have more than enough current assets to cover their current liabilities. And a majority of their current assets are cash, $55 billion, the best asset to have. And this company is really well capitalized. Their free cash flow was $23 billion, and their working capital was $51 billion. The best way to look at ratios to compare them to similar companies, I've done videos on Spotify, Airbnb, DoorDash, Alphabet, Groupon, Match, Pinterest, Trivago, Twitter, Yelp, and Yandex. All in the same industry as Facebook. And if Facebook has a number in green, they're better than the average. If they have a number in red, they're worse than the average. So they're better in PE because the average is negative. They're a little worse in price to sales, a lot worse in price to book. Their current ratio is higher than average. ROE, they're doing much better than the average because a lot of these companies have negative earnings, so the average is negative. They have much lower debt than average, and they're a huge company, second largest on this list next to Google. And they don't pay a dividend. None of these companies pay a dividend. So to summarize, I have them trading at a 15% discount. This company is a great future. They're always growing, and their financials and ratios look great. Let me know what you think. Give this video a like, subscribe, or comment below. Also, if you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.